Hi, this is JB from Now the Lights Over Arkham. In this video, I will be playing the Lord of the Rings TCG and uh, especially the Fellowship block. So I will be only using cards from the first three uh, sets released for this game. So uh, we are playing the Stealthy Hobbits deck with uh, the Shadow side will be Rook High Trackers. And then we have the Elven Archer deck with the Nazgul Shadow side. And I think that is mostly what I have to talk about before the game. Uh, if you don't know how this game works, check out my video on uh, how to play Lord of the Rings TCG. I'll put the link into the video description and also to the upper right corner. So if First, you have to check that out, do that, and then come back so you know how this game works. But other than that, let's get started. Just a disclaimer, as this is a um, competitive one versus one match, I'm playing both decks, so I'm playing against myself, so this is just purely for uh, demonstrative uh, purposes, so I <laughs> don't mind me knowing what cards the opponent has in, in the other hand, so to speak. And this is actually the way I used back in the day to test out my decks. So I would play a deck against one of my own decks, just to see how the uh, Fellowship or the Shadow side worked, and see if I needed to switch up some cards or something like that. Uh, that so it's uh, basically a way to test out your decks, but it also works as a demonstrative uh, uh, way to show how the game works and how it basically looks when you're playing the game. Uh, first thing I'll do is to uh, randomly choose uh, which fellowship is starting. So I have two different color tokens: red for the hobbits and blue for the elves and. Uh, I'll just basically choose one randomly, and that fellowship gets one doom and starts. Uh, not doom, a uh, burden and starts. So the hobbits start this game. So we play the hobbits side number one, and we add one burden on Frodo. Then uh, further simulate the uh, uh, me not knowing the opposite's hand is to not draw the shadow player's hand before the shadow phase starts. So usually you should uh, draw the hand right uh, at the start of the game. But uh, with this I don't know the shadow player's exact hand uh, before the shadow phase starts. So I can't uh, plan ahead in the fellowship phase that much but it's still not uh, precise how you play normally, but close enough for my liking. So, uh, we start at back end. Fellowship, exert a hobbit to play gaffer from your draw deck. So the hobbits really want to play the gaffer. So I have pre-shuffled the deck, so I'll just draw my opening hand. Eight cards. Yeah, I drew one too many. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, we have uh, quite a bad start, so I think I'm uh, doing the mulligan. Um, in this game, the mulligan is uh, shuffle your hand back into your deck and draw 6 cards instead of 8. So we are shuffling the hand back. What we really want to see is some stealth events and maybe promise or something like that to boost up Frodo and Sam to be keep them safe from getting overwhelmed. And uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention in my tutorial on how to play, if a, a companion or ally is uh, overrun, so the uh, minion strength is double 
the strength of the companion, the companion is overrun and vice versa. So if you get overrun, you don't add wounds, you just die immediately. Okay, um, well, we got one stealth event and a hobbit party guest, so nothing really special, but we'll exert a hobbit. I'll exert Sam, and uh, we might as well use Sam to search for build a pony. So I'll just search for both cards at the same time. So we look for Gaffer. Well, there is build a pony. And uh, where is Gaffer? There is Gaffer. I'll reshuffle the deck. So the hobbits are not getting a flying start, but uh, I hope I have enough uh, low of a plague curve to not let the shadow get too big of a enemy into play. So we'll play the uh, build the pony underneath Sam. It is a free card to play, and we play Gaffer for one. And we play a Hobbit party the guest for one. And uh, that is the fellowship phase, so we move to the side number two. And we go to Bree Streets. The roaming penalty for each Nuzgul you play Bree Streets is minus two. And we add zero, because build a pony lowers the twilight of the site for by one and uh, then we add four for the hobbits so we have six twilight and now I will draw the shadow cards so uh, we get we have witch king we actually can play, <laughs> so uh, yeah, this might be a really nasty start. So we'll um, use Morgul Gates to lower the twilight cost of the Nazgul we are playing by two, and the roaming penalty for each Nazgul you play to freeze three is minus two. So we play the Witch King, it is uh, only 6, so we just have enough to play that, and uh, we'll actually play the play tip down also. Okay, uh, we'll go to the maneuver phase, we have no maneuvers to play. Then we'll go to uh, archery. We have no archery. Then we go to assignment. Uh, we'll just assign uh, Witch King to Pippin. So the Witch King is strength 14 and fierce. And also uh, for each other Nazgul you spot, the Witch King is plus 2 strength, but we only have one. Uh, we will play Hobbit Intuition, so we add one Twilight, and we cancel a Skirmish involving a Hobbit, uh, because we are at sites 1 to 4. So this gets cancelled, but then we have the Fierce Skirmish, so uh, I think even if we boost um, Pippin up to Yeah, uh, even if we use Mary to boost Pippin up to 6, it doesn't matter. So, unfortunately, uh, a rough start for the Hobbits, so Pippin is in the dead pile. And we actually won't, won't tr uh, transfer the play tip. So, the uh, Witch King stays in play, and now we have to decide if we want to continue. 
so well we have no stealth events in hand and <laughs> we lost one hobbit already uh, we are stopping here so the shadow player reconciles before we decide uh, i will discard one nasco sword and the witch king goes into the discard and we draw back up to eight And uh, actually, I'll just change this uh, different language, which came into the English version, just for convenience sake. So, that was the fellowship phase of the Hobbits. And we continue to the uh, fellowship phase of the Elves. And we clear the Twilight Pool. Uh, we'll play Galadriel. And uh, we'll just put Gondor Bowman in play to cycle our hand, and we'll play Haldir. And that is all we can play. Uh, we'll go to uh, the Bree Streets. We add one Twilight from the Bree Streets and four from our Fellowship. Then. We'll draw the shadow hand to eight, and uh, I think we could try to play the troop of Urukai, and uh, let's play the Urukai armory. It will lower the Archery total, then I'll play the Urukai sword. Then I will also play Saruman's Ambition. And that is all I can play. So Uh, we have no maneuvers to play. We have an archery event to play. And that doesn't help us that much, unfortunately. I think this is also going to be rough for our... <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, at least this is a short game, apparently. But, yeah. So, um, there is no way to deal 4 damage with the troop of Urukai with the archery. Uh, if we exert Legolas twice, we deal 2 damage. But uh, even if we play the double shot, we won't deal any more damage there. I can't see any other way around it. So, We'll fight. Well, we, uh, yeah, we don't deal any damage. Then uh, the Urukai is strength uh, 11. Oh yeah, uh, it's not uh, here, so we'll put it here. So we'll just uh, sacrifice Haldir. So we assign uh, the troop of Urukai to Haldir. Uh, the troop of Uruka is double the strength, so it overruns Haldir. You don't even need to use the Ceremon's Ambition for this. You don't have any events. So Haldir is dead. Goes into the dead pile. And that is the skirmish phase. A regroup phase. Uh, I will stop here. And reconcile. So I'll... Discard one a school sword, and uh, then the hobbit side. I'll discard a guard, and we'll draw back up to eight, and that is 
the elf turn. We'll go to the fellowship of the hobbits. We'll empty the twilight pool. I will exert Gaffer to heal Sam. We'll play uh, two promises. So now Sam and Frodo are strength plus two. Then we'll play the talent for not being seen. Actually pull them here. So we uh, will exert Mary. And then we'll move. So we add uh, House of Elrond. Sanctuary when the fellowship moves to House of Elrond, the free people's player may spot two elves to remove a burden. And it's zero. And we have three fellowship. So oh yeah, this is discarded. So we have three <laughs> whopping of three twilight to play stuff. And we go to the shadow phase, we'll draw back up to eight. And uh, there are no Nazgul, we have money to play, so we'll just uh, we'll discard this and reconcile. But uh, I think the Hobbits don't want to risk it and they will stop here, so we'll go to the Elf side now and We'll play Arwen's sword, Arwen's bow, and, or the elven bow on Arwen. And we'll move here. And we don't have any burden, so we don't need to do that. So we'll add three. F6. And uh, Shadow. Base, we reconcile to eight. There are not that many cards to play, so I'll just, uh, just in case the fellowship tries to run further, I play Saruman. So this is basically I play Saruman as an intimidating card and down. It doesn't do anything. Saruman uh, may not take wounds during the archery phase and may not be assigned to skirmishes, but Urukai are fierce and also responds if an Urukai is about to take a wound, exert Saruman to prevent the wound. So it basically negates three archery wounds. So as Saruman is in play, we move again and we add a bunch of twilight, and it might be that we get overrun because we can't kill the Urukai because of Saruman and they are fierce so I might lose because of that so uh, the elves will stop here and reconcile so uh, I think I'll discard this then we reconcile I'll discard this And Saruman is discarded. And we have the Hobbit side again. And we are at the Sanctuary. So, uh, first Frodo will heal an ally with side number one, or a Hobbit ally. Then we use the Sanctuary to heal Mary. Next, we'll play a bunch of stuff. So, I'll put swords on Sam and on Mary. So they cost two. And we'll move up again. So now we have built a pony in play and we have the talent for not being seen. So the twilight number is minus two. So we only add three from the hobbits. And uh, we draw our shadow hand. We really don't have that much to play, but I'll play what I can. So I'll play the player Otse or Ostia. And it costs four. And we can exert Ular Ostia to make it fierce. We also have a way 
all veils removed to make it strength plus two if we make it into combat. So in shadow phase I'll exert a layer of stair to make it fierce. And uh, yeah, we add a burden when we move here, which I forgot. And uh, yeah, uh, no maneuver phase, no archery phase, we go to skirmish. I'll just uh, move these up a bit. And uh, I'll skirmish with Mary. I'll pay one to cancel the skirmish with the Hobbit Inquisition. And fierce combat, I'll I'll go and fight with yeah Mary, and again we'll cancel it, and this time it hopping stealth. So that is the end of the skirmish phase and fierce skirmish, and we'll go to regroup. Uh, we are not continuing with that. Nazgul in play, so this guy gets discarded and we reconcile uh, I think this Ravager can go and we'll discard one bow we really don't need more Elven bows at the moment we draw our Fellowship Hand We draw Aragorn. We empty the Twilight Pool. We'll play Aragorn. Aragorn can't wield the Elven Bow, but we'll play the Elven Bow on Arwen. And uh, we'll move. We add a burden. We'll add two from the site, we'll add four from the fellowship, and we'll draw our hand. So the shadow phase, uh, we are still roaming, so this rock high cost more. I'll play another uh, rock high armory. So this stack, so the Fellowship Archery total is minus 2 now. So this is roaming costs 4. This is roaming costs 4. And uh, I think that is what we can play. A maneuver phase, no maneuver actions. Uh, the Fellowship side or the shadow side, so we go to archery. Uh, we are archery total of zero. And uh, I'm still beating everything with this uh, fellowship, so I don't mind, so I'm just ignoring anything. I won't play anything. Uh, or use anything, so we'll go to the assignment. These rock savages are assigned like so. We have one uh, savagery to match their numbers in hand, and uh, I think I'm playing it in this fight, and also discarding uh, Saruman's ambition to make an rook high strength plus two. So in this combat, we are. Uh, fellowship side is 8 and we boost this by 4, so we are 9 versus 8, but uh, we can use Arven's, except Arven to discard or discard 2 cards from hand to make her strength plus 1. I think we are discarding a couple of cards, so we lose the these 2 cards to cycle our deck and these 2 cards. So we get plus 2 strength, so we are uh, strength 10, so we win, and we are damage plus 1. This takes 2 damage. Then uh, Aragorn hits this for two, 1 damage. And these stay in play, but we decide to stop here. 
uh, we are happy with this hand so we don't reconcile and we will discard these minions go to the hobbit phase uh, we are happy with this and draw back up to four, uh, 8 we will play bounder so uh, bounder lets us uh, trip put the strength needed to overwhelm to triple then we'll play o elber guildhone frodo so that helps us to boost frodo strength and uh, if frodo puts on the one ring we can Cancel a skirmish against the Nazgul with that. And that is all we can play. So, two Twilights, then we'll move to site number five. Uh, it's an underground site, so unfortunately, Build a Pony gets left behind. And uh, we still have two Hobbits. Uh, True Hobbit Companion, so the Twilight number is one lower, so it's five, we have three Companions, and let's see what happens, so we draw back up to eight. Okay, uh, we don't have anything else to play than the. I will use the Morgul Gates to play the Witch King for 6. And that is all. We have no maneuvers. Uh, there is a ability here to uh, play the Balrog from your draw deck. Or hand the Balrog's Twilight cost is minus six, but uh, I rarely put the Balrog into these decks because it doesn't combo that well with other cards unless you build a deck around it. But that's the only side number five for the Fellowship block, so <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, well, uh, I think Sam is fighting first, so Sam is uh, 5, 6, 7 with the promises, plus 14, so Sam is getting overrun. I will use the pounder. So now the Witch King needs to be 21 to overrun because it needs to overwhelm with the strength of thrice the strength of Sam. So the Witch King is happy to just put a wound and transform the play tip onto Sam. So now Sam can't remove wounds. Or actually, let's check. So uh, if your Nazgul wins a skirmish, so it's a response. Transfer this condition from your support area to the losing character. Limit one per character. Wound bearer at the start of each fellowship phase. So we uh, tax the uh, fellowship by wounding each round. Then we have the fierce skirmish. So I'll go there. And uh, Rodo is six, seven, eight versus fourteen, so not getting overrun, but we'll add four, uh, two, so sixteen versus uh, five, six, seven, eight. No, uh, yeah, I miscounted. 
Oh well, uh, I'll exert uh, Mary twice to transfer Mary's strength to Frodo, so plus 5. So even if we boost with another 2, it's not enough. Okay, so we don't do that, so we'll just put one damage on Frodo. That's a clear skirmish, and I think we are regrouping. Discarding the Lorian Elf, because I think we don't want to make our fellowship any bigger. And uh, we discard the Witch King. We start the fellowship phase of the Elves. We'll play Elrond. Oh yeah, now uh, let's throw our hand. So, we play Elrond. Uh, we don't have anything else to play. We don't even have a wound on Aragorn. Our Aragorn doesn't have anyone to heal. Uh, Aragorn could heal uh, Arwen. Oh yeah, uh, well... Nothing to do, we'll just move onwards. Four from the Fellowship and six from the side. So, quite a lot of Twilight. This could be bad. So, first we'll play Saruman. Then we'll play mm, we could play Rook Captain. Then we'll play Rook Savage. We'll play Sermon's Ambition. And then we'll play Rook Guard. So that is quite a nasty setup to deal with. And uh, the archery total is minus two, so we are not shooting anything at the moment. But I think I'll. Uh, yeah, I, even if I shoot, shoot something, uh, Saruman just makes me ignore those. So this is quite quite a tough situation. We might lose a lot of stuff here. So we'll this could be strength seven with the ceremony's ambition, so we really can't put uh, uh we might need to risk it. We are uh, I actually don't <laughs> remember if there's any boost here. But yeah, uh, we'll shoot zero arrows. And uh, we'll put this here. This goes here. This goes here. Actually, let's do this the right way. So, uh, 8 versus 5, we'll deal 2 damage here. Uh, Rook Guard deals 2 damage here. Rook Captain deals 2 damage here. Then we have the Fear Skirmish because of Saruman. Uh, I think Aragorn will just die. Nothing we can do about that. So I will start from here. Uh, we deal 2 damage to Frodo. Uh, we take two damage here. We could discard cards to actually we'll do that. We discard Yeah, we discard four cards to make Arwen strength plus four uh, two. So we actually win this skirmish. This guy dies. But actually we'll just Ignore the damage and put it on Saruman. And Aragorn dies. 
and that is the fear skirmish regroup we are reconciling and not continuing so that is that clear the board so this is turning out to be a quite bloody game usually this doesn't get this bloody at, uh, this early but at least it's a good demonstration how uh, a game might go Uh, we go to the Hobbit Fellowship, so we actually reconcile. I think uh, this is okay. So, um, yeah, the Twilight Pool. I'll play Boromir. So, just we have something to fight with. I'll play there and back again. Frodo. Play Atlas on Boromir, and I'll use Atlas. Oh yeah, and uh, some took one damage, but I'll transfer one here and one here, and then I'll exert Gaffer again, and I'll play the Atlas because uh, here to heal Merry ones. And we'll move on to the site number six. So this is another sanctuary we can heal here, and we still have tail of for not a talent for not being seen in play. So we add only uh, two from the site and four from our fellowship. So that's quite a lot of uh, twilight. We'll draw the shadow hand. And again, I'll change one of these witch kings with a different language. Yeah, uh, my collection is <laughs> many languages because I did some trading overseas. But yeah, uh, we are playing the witch king, and I'll use the Morgul gates. So it's six. I'll play. Kill Fernie. I'll play the Black Steed. And that is it. So, um, uh, I think we are. Well, uh, Bill Fernie uh, says Nazgul's are not roaming. The Free People's player may not assign a character to Skirmish Bill Fernie and discard Bill Fernie if underground. So the Shadow player gets to decide where Bill Fernie goes. And that is a problem. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll retrace that Frodo. Uh, heal the Hobbit ally. So we have Pounder used again this turn. So, um, so we uh, have Boromir that lets us make a Hobbit strength plus three. So uh, difficult choices. I think I'm. Putting the Witch King onto Sam. It's uh, 16. I think Bill Fernie will help there. So 16 plus 4 is 20. And uh, I'll use a Pounder. So the strength needs to be tripled. And Sam is uh, 5, 6, 7. So 21, it's already enough, so we go, don't get overrun. And uh, we'll take only one damage. There is no plus one damage anywhere, so that is that. And uh, we have the Fierce Skirmish left. Uh, Witch King. Yeah, this uh, Bill Fernie doesn't have 
here, so only the Witch King attacks, so it's uh, 16. So I'll just go on to Sam again. And I will use... Uh, so let's count. 16 versus... 5, 6, 7... Uh, so... We'll exert Boromir. And Sam is now... Sven, so we are not getting overrun, so we take another damage. And that is the fair skirmish, we are definitely staying here, so this gets discarded. And uh, we reconcile. I think this is a okay hand to keep. So uh, we draw back up to 8, and again I'll just change this. Okay, um, at the start of each of your turns you may spot an ally who storms at this tree to heal that ally twice, regroup, exert Elrond twice to heal a companion. So we could have done this but I forgot. Too bad for me. I put the uh, uh, Vilva underneath Elrond. Uh, I have an extra Elrond. I'll play the both the Gala Dream and we'll move. So one from the bow, three from the fellowship, and three from the side. Not that bad. And uh, we'll play. We have seven. So I think I'm just uh, playing lords. So we have an archery total of two. Uh, it gets negated to zero. Uh, so Lords goes against Arvan. Eight versus thirteen. So I need to be 16 to overrun. I could actually do that, so I'll play both of these. So plus two, plus two, and discard Sermon's Ambition. So I'm strength 19. But uh, Arben will discard double shot and uh, Elrond to go to strength 9. So we're still getting over on. Mm, I think I'm discarding Soldier and Black Steed to post again. So we lose and take two damage. And uh, we won't move again, so we'll stay here. And that is the Elf's turn. Uh, hope it's reconciled. I'll discard the. I don't actually want to discard anything, so we draw back up to 8 and uh, at the start of the fellowship we heal an ally a bit, then we remove 5 from here, add 1 from the blade tip. And actually now I remember that I should have <laughs> removed the plate with the uh, Atlas, but it is what it is. I'll actually do it like this. So. Okay, we'll play the Mithril Coat, so it goes to Frodo. Minion Archery Total is minus one. Each minion skirmish in Frodo does not gain strength bonuses from weapons and loses damage bonus. We won't play anything else, we'll just move. So, uh, when we move here without a ranger, each company must exert. And we don't have a ranger. So, 
but this is quite nasty for us. And Twilight is 5, because we have the Hell of Not Being Seen in play. And we have 4 companions. And then, let's see what we can do. So we really are hurting with the elves, so we need to try and overrun the hobbits. All possible. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. So we could play three minions. So we play the Molecule Stalker, uh, Skulker, or two. And we get to shuffle two cards into the encounter deck. I'll just do no, actually I'll one and uh, Uh, let's there we of course here apparently. Yeah, Morgul Gates. So we shuffle those in. Then we'll play what's uh, And we'll play Kanta. Then uh, we'll exert Otsia to make uh, he make him spears, and that is all. We have no archery phase or maneuver phase. Actually, we have maneuver. We'll boost there and back again. So we discard this to make each Hobbit companion strength plus two until the end of the regroup phase. So I'll just put it over here to put as a reminder. And uh, well we'll mm, put uh, this against Boromir and Nine. So Mary is five, six, seven. Do we have any boost in hand? We have one plus two and damage plus one. So I'll put this against. Actually, put this against here and uh, can't here. Uh, There. Okay, I think that's fine. Start from here. Kante kills of Boromir. Uh, here we will. We are uh, seven, eight, nine. We'll go to eleven and plus one damage with the dagger strike. So we defeat and deal two damage to Otze. Then uh, the Skulker deals one damage to Frodo, and Kantea goes again. Uh, we'll just fight here, take one damage here. Yeah, actually, we have to go here because actually we'll just take it on Frodo. So Frodo takes one damage because Kantea could discard the Hobbit Swords, which would be a problem. And that is that we are not definitely moving on, and uh, we'll reconcile. We'll go to the Elf turn. Uh, yeah, the, uh, this time I remember to do this a bit late, but still. So Elrond would have healed one. Companion at the regroup. 
Then at the start we heal Elrond, then we heal 5. And... Uh, We'll play the Long Knives of Legolas. We'll play Calaglin. And uh, that is all we can play. We'll move here. We have a Ranger, Arwen. So we add 6. And three from the fellowship. Let's see what the Uruks can do. So we play Saruman's Ambition, play Lourdes, play the Uruk Captain, and uh, now we have a maneuver action. Then we'll play Rukai Sword and Lord's Sword. That is all we can play. Uh, maneuver phase, uh, spot another Urukai to make Lord's Spears until the red group phase, so we do that. Uh, archery. Uh, yeah, uh, Legolas will kill off this. Then we'll take uh, Lourdes with Legolas. Actually, Arwen could go to Jen, but Lourdes is damage plus 3, so yeah, this isn't looking good. So Legolas is dead. Might be the end right here. Then uh, we are skirmish. We'll take three damage. Uh, we are still alive with Arwen. And I'll use Elrond to heal Arwen once. And I'll do it again. And that is that. We survived to site 7. Then uh, we reconcile the hobbits. And uh, Sam exerts. Frodo heals this. Gaffer gets healed. Gaffer heals Sam once. Uh, we don't have, we can't play Boromir, we have Farmer Maggots. Uh, we'll play Boromir Maggot and the other Bounder. Bounder uh, Maggot heals Mary. That is all we can play. We'll move to side 8. So we add 5 from the side, we still have this in play, and 3 from the fellowship. Let's see, the discard this to reconcile. Let's see how much we can play. We'll put the play tip in play. Play Nelia. We'll play Ate. Actually, we don't have enough to play at there, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm just... I'm changing, just playing the... Witch King. And... Uh, we'll fight here. I will use the Pounder, so we need 15, 
actually. Yeah, we void here. So we need too much. So one damage there and go there. Okay. A bit intuition to boost by three. And uh, take one damage. We have to use the founder, of course. And we transfer the plate tip onto Mary. But we are not continuing from the brown land, so this gets discarded. We will discard. Discard. We'll go to the elf turn. We heal Elrond. We play Lorien elf. Now we'll play the Condor Bowman just to get it out of our hand. We'll move here. Three from the Fellowship and six from the side. So ten and uh, discarding Borrow Mirror to reconcile. So we'll just play what we can. And that is all we can play. And actually that is enough because even if we play double shots, minion uh, the fellowship archery total is still minus two. We don't deal no damage. Then we assign these like so. We have no way of boosting. Actually, this guy actually also can. Assignment Excel to say that the Arvin can't be put here, so well, this just go like this. But uh, yeah, we'll start from here. This guy, Elf, gets killed. Arvin takes two damage. Actually, we'll discard four cards in this combat. This dies, but the Rook Lieutenant. Is strength 8 and Frodo is uh, strength 4. We have nothing that boosts Frodo's strength, so Frodo is defeated. So that <laughs> that was the uh, game. I know I didn't explain the cards that much, but uh, this is just to show basically how the game flows. And uh, if you're interested in seeing what the cards read, you can head over to the uh, website where you can play, build some decks and read the cards there. There are all of the cards you can read that are released for this game. But this was uh, the Fellowship block in Lord of the Rings TCG. Hope you guys enjoyed watching something else than Marvel or Arkham content and I think I'll do a few more of these videos in the different blocks from time to time and of course if you have any questions feel free to leave some questions below in the comment section I'll be happy to answer any questions and check out the links I'll put them in the video description if you want to try this game out in the digital form so thanks for watching and until next time